Hi guys, had a bit of a panic recently. Some of my batteries that have been my favourites always work no problem were failing when I was trying to charge them. This is my charger, V6 Pro. Bought this quite a long time ago, like everything else. It does say Turnergy on there. I don't know if it's a genuine Turnergy or whether it's a clone. Either way, it does work. Um, this is your normal feed to your battery, and then you've got this adapter, multi-way adapter, with all the other types of connectors that I use. And this one, which is the one I use most often, is the one that's failing. I didn't realize it was failing until I put this adapter on this one and it works fine through there and then feeling this that is very loose and floppy so quick demonstration if I stick this in the positive here and then come into here nothing Go into that one. Okay. Go into the negative. Go into that one. Yeah, okay. Go into this one. Nothing. If I wobble it around a bit, I can actually get the wire to make contact. Yeah, need to get it in just the right position. So that's what's happened. The wires have been jerked at some time and pulled out of the pins. Now, I am careful. I don't pull the wires rather than the connector. But this is a good few years old, so I suppose it's just general wear and tear and it has eventually migrated. The wires have migrated off the contacts. That's a polite way of saying they've just broken. No big deal. We'll just replace that. I could disconnect it there and resolder it with all the rest, but I think what I'll do is I'll just cut it here somewhere and put another short connector on. Right, so this is our broken one. springy rubber and that's one that I've used before as you can see So do with a bit of heat shrink tubing. Is that big enough? It looks a bit small. Well, that's odd. I know I've got more somewhere else. Fancy not having any black that size. And we we'll use bread bread on both sides. It's not gonna matter at all. the solder and iron coming on. Ah, now in my box I've got some 
new tinning stuff. Sandra encased, not that one. There we are. Tip tinner. Mm, it's all sealed. Never used this. Oh gosh, what's all this? Do not eat. No guidance on what to do. Mm, interesting. So can we do this in a way that you can see what I'm doing? Really difficult stuff. Connect the black wire to the black wire and the red wire to the red wire. You could twist them together first. We could just do it like this. Oh, that one's gone a bit. I should have twisted that one first. He's definitely gone a bit loose. The end splayed out. So there you go. Twist your wires before you tin them. Can we get that over there? Yeah, that's gone over there nicely. Okay, people like to use hot air guns and cigarette lighters. I just use a soldering iron. Right, hopefully that is job done. I'm going to try it out. Okay, so that into there. The one that we've just repaired into there. Balance lead into there. Uh, we're on lithium ion battery. We can bounce that up a little bit. We'll go up to one amp. Should be able to take a bit more than that, but I'll go one amp. 2S. Press the button. Low voltage, which is good, at least it's recognizing it. This one's been sat out in the shed for uh, probably a couple of years since I last used it. So 
I will cheat this one. Tell it it's nickel metal hydride for a minute. And now we've got connection break. forcing some voltage in there to get it up to the minimum threshold and then we'll put it back onto lithium ion. Still my repair worked, which is all we're really looking at. The fact that I'm having to fiddle this to get the battery to take, take charge is a separate issue entirely. If you're interested, there is a playlist for this um, glider. I've never flown it very well because I'm not an experienced pilot by any means. Must be uh must be several years old now. Wonder if we've got enough voltage in there to fake it. Back to lithium iron. Back in there. Start. Yeah, it's happy now. Gave it just enough voltage to trigger the minimum voltage. Or not to trigger the mini minimum voltage, to be more exact. Yeah, that'll do. Job done. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.